Farming in the Zone is brought to you by John Deere and your local John Deere dealer. Nothing runs like a deer. Today we begin an exclusive three-part series called Farming in the Zone. As weather and price volatility rage in farm country, the importance of maximizing every acre continues to grow. And for farmers, that means going from farming by the acre to farming by the inch. National reporter Tyne Morgan has more. Thanks, Clinton. Zone management isn't new, but some of the technology that goes along with it is. So while crops were still in the ground this fall, I met a couple of farmers whose experience with zone management differs in years. And today we meet a rookie farmer who says all the work translates into big savings in the end. The view from Quint Pottinger's front yard is scenic, but it's the terrain that makes farming in New Haven, Kentucky so challenging. If you look around, it's uh, a lot of rolling fields and hills. Our soil types change so much. At 24, Pottinger has only been back to the farm for a few years, and his expertise quickly became managing all their land by breaking the fields down into soil zones. With different zones requiring different levels of nutrients, having different pH levels, different phosphorus levels, uh, if we can monitor that and put down what we actually need, uh, then we can go in and put the right seed, the right depths. Pottinger says dividing the field into multiple zones takes time and a lot of soil samples. When the crops are growing right about now before we'll take the harvest, it will take a sample and we'll see what our nutrient levels are. Last month with a layer of snow on the ground, Pottinger took another sample, helping him develop planting plans for the year. With sample results, yield maps and other information, he's learned the meat to zone management is in the details. When we first started doing it, we, we would have the data and we'd try to analyze it all right the last minute when we were trying to select our hybrids. And, and now we've got it broken down in files per field and some files per zone so that we know when the seed guy calls or the fertilizer company calls and says, what do you think you all will need this year? I can pull that file out and say this is what we need. While zone management practices have been around for years, he says technology is finally catching up. We modified that corn planter to do variable rate seeding by soil, by soil type within 500 seeds to the acre. Uh, we've also put on fertilizer applications that we can tie into our seed monitoring system. Hopefully we can start variable rate fertilize in the furrow and on the side by side soon. And so that's that's where my focus has been. And in the future he hopes to be able to change the seed hybrid or variety on the go. In a field like this we can variable rate every row individually. However we can't variable rate different hybrids. He says that will require him to use a box fill planter versus a bulk fill one, but he thinks it'll be worth it. It takes more work to fill it up, but if I can put eight different varieties on a 12 row planter, knowing where my zones are going to be, and I can variable rate those eight different varieties, I think I can get a lot more out of it. Even though some of the technology is on the horizon for the Pottingers, he says what they're doing today is already paying off. We paid for our uh, variable, rate, uh, variable rate seed system, row flow from Precision, our monitoring system, and our fertilizer system this year. We can already see it. Glenn, tomorrow I'll introduce you to a Michigan farmer. And with 10 years of zone management experience under his belt, he says it only gets better with time.